Hey, if you're new here, then welcome to my channel, Flashback Videos. I really hope you like what I'm going to show you today. And of course, if you're a regular here, then a big thank you for coming back. You have no idea how much it means to me. Unlike some other Then and Now channels, I'm not into clickbait style thumbnails and stuff. I try to make sure whatever I put in my videos is true. I don't always get it right, but I do try. If I do get anything wrong, feel free to let me know. I'm not too proud to be corrected, and there's plenty of people out there that know lots more than I do. Anyway, today's flashback movie is Todd Haynes' romantic period drama from 2015, Carol, about two lesbians finding each other in a forbidden period, and based on the 1952 romance novel, The Price of Salt. We're going to be looking a little at the background of the movie, what it's about, and who the stars were. Of course, I'm not going to include everyone that was in the movie. I mean, that would take like forever. As usual, if you like what you see, please consider giving a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then you could even subscribe to the channel if you want. I mean, it doesn't cost anything. And you would get to see more of my videos when I release them. And it would really help inspire me to keep on making them. Now, those of you that have been here before already know this. But I don't just make videos about the most popular movies. Some of them are, how can I say, a little more niche. Anyway, the idea is not just to show what the actors looked like back then and how much they've changed. I also try and give my opinion. Not that I'm any great authority, but hey. What I also do is give you some info on the actors, such as their background, and what other movies and TV shows they've been in. You never know. Maybe it'll get you to watch a movie that you never thought of before. Or not. Okay, so with all that being said, let's do this. Carol was released in August 2015 by the Weinstein Company, with a running time of just under two hours. The movie received six Oscar nominations, including Best Actress, and garnered five Golden Globe Award nominations, including Best Motion Picture in the Drama category. It also received nine BAFTA Award nominations, including Best Film. The screenplay was written by Phyllis Nagy from a novel by Patricia Highsmith, and the movie was directed, as I said, by Todd Haynes. The filming for Carol was done in Cincinnati, with a budget of around $12 million, and it wanted to gross just over $40 million worldwide. Not the biggest smash hit in the world, but still good money. Carol follows the lives of two women, from very different backgrounds, who find themselves in an unexpected love affair in 1950s New York. As conventional norms of the time challenge their undeniable attraction, an honest story emerges to reveal the resilience of the heart in the face of change. A young woman in her 20s, Therese Bellive, is a clerk working in a Manhattan department store and dreaming of a more fulfilling life when she meets Carol an alluring woman trapped in a loveless, convenient marriage. I can't help but think this subject matter would have been edgier if it had been made 10 or 20 years earlier. It would have made this movie more compelling. It's still a good forbidden romance. Kate Blanchett is amazing as always. Rooney Mara does a good job. Carl Chandler delivers a great angry white man. Jack Lacey is creepily clingy. The start is a little slow, and the ending drags on too long. I would have liked the movie to wrap up quickly after the lawyers meeting. As I said, the ending runs on too long for me. You're always the most beautiful woman in the room. Therese Valentine. Carol. Tell me you know what you're doing. I never did. And then it changed. She's still my wife. I love her. Undoubtedly one of the main stars, of course, is Kate Elise Blanchett, who plays the part of the glamorous older woman, Carol Aird. Kate was born in 1969 in Melbourne, Australia, although her father was American. She's the middle of three children, and after her father died of a heart attack when Kate was ten, her mother raised the family on her own. One of Hollywood's biggest female stars, Kate has two Academy Awards to her name, as well as three Golden Globes. After hitting the spotlight with her performance as Elizabeth I in 1998's drama movie Elizabeth, Kate is most famous for portraying Galadriel in the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit movies. She won her first Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role as Catherine Hepburn in The Aviator in 2004. 
Kate has been married to playwright and screenwriter Andrew Upton since 1997, after they met in Australia in the mid-90s. They have three sons and a daughter, who they adopted in 2015. After 10 years living in Brighton, England, Kate returned to Hunters Hill in Sydney and her native Australia in 2006. However, in 2016, she and her husband bought another house in England, this time in East Sussex. The part of the other woman, aspiring photographer Therese Bellaray, was played by American actress Rooney Mara. Rooney was born in New York in 1985 and made her screen debut in the slasher film Urban Legends Bloody Mary in 2005. I think it's fair to say that Mari's big breakthrough came when she starred as Lisbeth Salander in David Fincher's thriller The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo in 2011, which earned her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress. She followed that up with leading roles in the thriller Side Effects and the science fiction romance Her before this performance as Therese. Mara is well known for her charity work and oversees the Ueza Foundation, which supports empowerment programs for children and families in the Kiberia slum of Nairobi. She's also the founder of the vegan clothing line Hiraith Collective. Since 2016, Mara has been in a relationship with American actor Joaquin Phoenix, and they have a son together named River. Sarah Paulson portrays Abby Gerhardt. Carol's friend, who we learned she had an affair with years earlier. Sarah was born in Florida in 1974 and began her acting career in New York City stage productions before starring in the short-lived television series American Gothic in the mid-90s. However, she's possibly best known for starring in the TV series American Horror Story, playing different characters in many of the show's ten seasons. She also portrayed real-life prosecutor Marcia Clark in the first season of the anthology series American Crime Story, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. I feel I need to mention that back on the big screen, she also appeared as Mistress Epps in 12 Years a Slave. Currently living in Los Angeles, Paula describes her sexuality as a fluid situation, but since 2015, she's been in a relationship with actress Holland Taylor, who is 32 years older than her. Emmy-winning American actor Carl Chandler was born in New York in 1965 and portrays Carol's estranged husband, Hark Aird, with whom she is engaged in a difficult divorce. Chandler's first regular television role was in the ABC drama Homefront and he also received widespread critical acclaim for his performance as Eric Taylor in Friday Night Lights. More recently, he has appeared as Detective John Rabin in the Netflix thriller Bloodline. On the big screen, Chandler has enjoyed notable supporting roles in King Kong, The Day the Earth Stood Still, Super 8, and The Wolf of Wall Street. Currently living on a large spread southwest of Austin, Texas, Chandler has been married to Catherine McCary since 1995, and they have two daughters together. I think that pretty much covers what you might call the big name actors in the movie. But just like all good movies, there is a whole host of supporting actors that play equally important roles and we're going to look at some of them now. American actor Jake Lacey was born in Massachusetts in 1987 and plays the part of Therese's boyfriend, Richard Semko, who wants her to go to France with him in the hope that they will get married. Lacey's first main role was as Casey Marion Davenport on the 2010 sitcom Better With You, but he's perhaps best known for his portrayal of Pete Miller on the ninth and final season of The Office and his role as Shane on the HBO satire comedy miniseries The White Lotus. Although most of his work has been on a small screen, Lacey has appeared in movies such as Obvious Child and Rampage, which starred Dwayne Johnson. Lacey married longtime girlfriend Lauren Delio in 2015 in Dorset, Vermont, and they have two sons. Carrie Rachel Brownstein is an American musician who first came to prominence as a member of the band Excuse 17, before forming the rock trio Slater Kinney. In the movie, she plays the role of Genevieve Cantrell, who has an encounter with Therese. Carrie was born in Washington in 1974, and despite being best known as a musician, she also wrote and appeared in a series of comedy sketches alongside Saturday Night Live alumnus Fred Armisen which were developed into the satirical comedy TV series Portlandia. Brownstein was outed as bisexual to her family and the world by spin when she was 21 years old, 
The article claimed that she had dated bandmate Colin Tucker in the beginning of Slater Kinney. Born in Ohio in 1986, Corey Michael Smith played the apparent travelling salesman Tommy Tucker, who actually turned out to be a private investigator hired by Hodge to gather evidence against Carol. Smith is perhaps best known for his role as Edward Nigma, or the Riddler, in the Fox television drama series Gotham. In 2018, Smith stated that he identifies as bisexual. Born in Ohio in 1983, John Robert Magaro plays the part of Danny, Richard and Teresa's friend who works at the New York Times. Magaro took the lead role in 2012's Not Fade Away, as well as appearing in The Big Short. On the small screen, he also appeared in Netflix series Orange is the New Black and The Umbrella Academy. Twin seven-year-old child actresses Sadie and K.K. Heim shared the part of Harge and Carol's daughter, Rindy Ed, who is the centre of a custody battle. The role was split up so that K.K. did all the speaking parts and Sadie the silent parts. Sadie has perhaps enjoyed the most opportunities, but obviously, as a child actor, her movie career only began in 2015, and playing the part of Rindy with her sister was her first credit. She has since appeared in both Doctor Sleep and Anastasia. As I said at the beginning, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and maybe got something out of it, even if you don't decide to watch the movie. Once again, Please don't forget to smash that like button, or even subscribe to the channel if you want to. I know I'm not a big YouTube channel with millions of subscribers, but I appreciate each and every one of you that take the time out of your busy day to watch my content. And as long as you do, I'll keep on making videos for you. Know that my thanks go to each and every one of you, and if you ever want me to do a video of a particular movie you love, just let me know in the comments. I read every one of them personally, and always try to answer them.